Hello guys, welcome to Image System Design with Xilinx, BR Design Institute and Zinc FG. We are from Digitronics Nepal. So let's go to our today's section. Actually, we are in section first, which is overview session of Vivaro Design Suite and Zinc FPG. We are to talk on Vivaro Design Suite, Zinc Architecture, and IP Design Overview. And actually, we already have done Lab 1, that is a full lecture for Lab 1, target for Zero And we are in lecture for Lab 1, that is second version of Lab for targeting Jaibo. So we are targeting this Lab 1. Jio FEG. So let's go to our uh, lecture description. We have a basic hardware design objective in this lab. So we are going to design basic hardware is described in the schematic or block diagram and implement that hardware on Jio FEG. So this is our functionality which we are going to implement on our Jio with BHDL programming language. We also have attached corresponding source in Verilog, BSDL, and we already have done this project for Jailboard, so you don't have to have confusion why this project is again resuming because we are targeting this project for Jaibo. So we have cut out all the other ports which is included in Jailboard because Jaibo has very limited number of switch, LEDs, and push buttons. So these are the four switches, four LEDs, and inside the Jaibo chip, Jing chip, we have functionality. The RTL schematic of the functionality can be shown here, can be seen here. And this is the main description of our project, which is similar in the as in the previous. So here is the BS implementation of the logic. So we are going to have two library, entity of switch and LEDs, 4-bit switch and 4-bit LEDs. And when in architecture, we have some functionality of like nodding switch first for providing the result into layer first or layer 0 switch 0 into layer 0 with nothing switch 1 and switch 2 have been logically computed and transfer or assigned to layer 1 and switch 2 and switch 3 are added for and assigned for layer 3 and layer 1 and layer 3 layer 1 or layer 3 has been or done oring and transfer to layer 2 so this is the very basic functionality actually we only talk on this functionality in previous similar lab target for jailboard and this is the constant set which we also add as this functionality behavior implementation and constant in the attachment so you can download this and this is the constant set for implementing this project so we have switch and led so we can see we have switch swt which is 4 bit array and led is also 4 bit array so here is the constant for led and here is the constant for switch actually what we have did is this port declaration or port naming is exactly same as in the master.xtc of Jaibo. So we don't need to change anything because this xtc master.xtc uh, consists of all the constant for Jaibo and we have copied this constant from that master.xtc. So you can also get that master.xtc from Jaibo. Reference manual or you can get that constant from Digiland website Jaibo based pages or Zybo product page and you can also get that constant from Xilinx website and this is the constant so this is the configuration for programming actually Zybo what we need to do is we need to set up the uh, this power jumper power jumper that is JP7 in this format while we are programming and powering up the Jaibo with USB. Actually, we are taking power from the USB and we are programming Jaibo with USB. If we want to program with power adapter, then we can set into wall base uh, jumper. So that can be shifted into top. And here is JTAG and UART port. Actually, this single port works for JTAG programming and UART. So we can program our PT stream to the Zinc and we can even program our SDK project to the Zinc from this same port so we, we need to have only one usb cable this is extra usb cable actually this is a target for like usb slave communication actually this this device can be work as master device and we can even connect drives like a pen drives mouse keyboard etc in this usb port and this is the main thing that is jp7 that is mode selection of zybo actually actually we are in currently jtag mode 
actually JTAG mode is targeted for programming PS as well as PL so we can program BT stream and we can program processor with SDK project while in JTAG mode and while we are in QSPI mode we can only program the programmable logic part that is bit file can only be uploaded so we are in currently at JTAG mode so we can upload our bit file as well as SDK project that is C project both project can be uploaded in this form in this mode but while talking about this project this first project we don't need to have actually JTAG mode we can even select this JTAG mode into QSPI mode so we can shift this into QSPI mode so this can work for us but we can even change that QSPI mode into JTAG mode it also works for us currently so we don't need to worry about so if you get any difficulties then you can shift this JTAG jumper into QSPI and upload the bitstream we will again show you the demonstration also so you, you will be more clear about so this actually shooting is this jumper shooting is targeted for bitstream uploading bitstream as well as SDK project but we are not uploading any SDK project currently so we just have SDL project so for that project we can select this jumper into QSPI you just need to be sure about that so this is quite easier and this is the configuration for Jboard which we already talked on so let's go to Vivado for implementing the current project and we are going to have a session on creating project and implementing that project on Vivado so let's go to Vivado let's do next let's do next and let's do boards actually if you don't get Jboard in your project selection part selection then you can add your Zyvo board add Zyvo board on your Vivaru which is already talked on previous video session lecture session of how to add or install Zyvo board in your Vivaru so you can watch that video and you can install the Zyvo that is quite easy steps there are few steps we can which can be get from the previous lecture so we already assume you already have done that addition of Zyvo so you can select the Zyvo board from that part selection after the selection what we can do is we can go to air source actually we are not going to write currently we are just going to use the previously written our SDL script which we also have added as in the video attachment and we already talked about that script in previous video also so you don't need to worry about and this is very basic functionality so let's have let's have a name of uh, lab 1b this is lab 1b and let's finish we have just created a blank blank uh, this is our script so you can copy it we just have copied a we just have created a blank uh, like template so we have replaces that template with our uh, schematic and let's run the synthesis actually it will take a little bit time for synthesizing the project and after synthesis completes we are going to place the constant actually we can even place the constant from adding constant which we already have provided you in this so this file so you can get the cons corresponding constant that is Jiva constant which we also have shown you in the presentation and add the constant in the project or what we what we can do is we can do what we can do is we can uh, add the constant here or we can insert that constant from IO planning GUI graphical user interface we can even place the constant corresponding constant location in that IO planning GUI what we have did here is uh, actually the output port has provided the result to other output port so that is not valid in BSGL so, so what we can do is we can make that output port into in out format that is input and output format so that port can work for input as well as output so we have changed a little bit here so it can be changed previously so placing constant there are two methods if we want to place a constant from GUI of Vivaro then what we can do is we can go to uh, open synthesize design and after it opens we can go to io planning and we can play in the 
place the constant there or we can add sources we can go to add sources create a constant error create constant and we can copy the constant from the file we which we have attached in the attachment of this video and or what we can do is we can go to here and we can see corresponding list plan constant from here actually this must be LBC must 33 and this must also be LBC must 33 we have both options actually we already have provided the corresponding constant in the video attachment in the same folder so what we can do we can place the pin location for layer 3 actually layer 3 is at layer 3 is at d18 actually i'm seeing the jiword in front of me so you can also have jiword in front of you if you have then you can see on corresponding ports d18 and another is g14 you can cross check that if you have jiword and you are targeting jiword another is m15 m15 is also there if we don't get the uh, pin location here or package pin here so that might be some mistakes we have done and we can check the board setting actually if we have targeted the right board or not and we can even check the corresponding package pin location so a layer constant has been done so let's minimize this let's go to switches we can see the switches actually switch uh, 3 switch 3 and uh, what uh, you need to know about is we don't need to place the constant regularly actually we are placing constant is written in the jive word that is not necessary you can even place constant for switch randomly so switch 3 constant can be placed to switch 1 of board or anything like uh, we can have double 13 but uh, if we place serially is in the board that will be more easier to interpret or that will be easier to barely, um, verify our functionality in the board feg board p15 is another one and let's have next last switch zero is at g15 so this is the constant test so we don't have any other port let's save the design and let's say okay and let's say cons short name okay our our constant has been saved here so we can see the constant set and this is the constant set and we can even do the enter here so we have laid and switches we have iv standard as well as package pin location so we can save this we just have closed the synthesized design so let's run the implementation and let's send the bd stream we can even click on generate bd stream and we can even go to synthesize and implement and generate it will take a little bit time so let's wait for time after the generation completes what we are going to do is we are going to connect our jaiwo board with the pc and we are going to upload that bt stream to jaiwo board as soon in the presentation we are going to have the jumper configuration of we can set our jumper to qspi mode in gb5 and we can select the usb in jp7 and we can power up the type word then we can connect our usb cable usb jtag jtag proz and upload our pd stream to the type word and you also have install or you also have uh, install correctly corresponding drivers that is silicon drivers of our PROG VRD port in your PC if that is not uh, fully integrated can check the driver uh, driver uh, updates and device driver in the device manager or driver manager of your operating system and you can see correspondingly is the driver is installed correctly or not at there so you can visit the 
driver management or device management actually device management in windows and such management in your operating system so let's wait a bit time so our right bit stream has been completed so let's go to open hardware manager let's do okay and we are connected our Zybo with the PC let's connect this Zybo with PC from open target let's click on auto connect sometimes uh, some uh, uh, driver installation might get uh, like uh, integration complexities or some issues so at that time we need to recheck the driver installation so if your driver is uh, updated correctly you can upload your code so let's do auto connect let's see if our device can found on our PC or not so our device is synchronizing with Vivado open hardware target manager or open hardware manager so so let's go to program device and let's select the corresponding FVG chip this is xc 7 j 0101 this is our FVG chip in Zybo so here is our BD stream this is our project directory project Zybo and lab one dot BID is our project directory, uh, project BD stream so let's program it so after programming the Jibo board blinks and the corresponding result can be seen in the corresponding layer location and we can even change the switches and check the functionality is that functionality is verified or not we can check in the Jibo board so we'll have a demonstration very short demonstration of verifying the functionality in Jibo uh, so guys thanks for watching until this uploading video stream session where we will have a short demonstration session in next video so guys thanks for watching